Hello everyone, welcome to College Review Series by Akash. Today we are going to review National Institute of Technology, Silchar. And in this video, you'll get everything that you need to know about this NIT. Its placements, courses, fee structure, scholarships and a lot more. And if you're wondering how much rank you need to secure in order to get admission in this NIT, then do watch this video till the end. This National Institute of Technology was established in the year 1967 as a Regional Engineering College in Assam. The institute has achieved significant recognition by securing 40th position in the engineering and 83rd in the overall NIRF 2023. Basically, the institute specializes in its technology courses. NIT Silchar dedicates six departments to its engineering programs. Programs such as civil engineering, mechanical engineering, computer science engineering, electrical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, and instrumentation engineering. But how to get in there is the next important thing. So coming on to eligibility and admission process. First of all, qualify joint entrance exam, JEE main. And secondly, pass class 12th board exam with science stream. So if you are a general category student, then you need to secure 75% in your boards. Whereas for students who belong to STSC or PWD category, they need to secure 65%. Thereafter, the candidates must register for JOSA counseling based on the marks secured in JEE main. Selected candidates will have to verify their documents and pay the required fees. And yes, if you are a foreign student, then you will be selected through DASA, Direct Admission of Students Abroad and ICCR Scheme. The next important thing that you need to know is the tuition fee. See, the tuition fee for all the Bachelor of Technology program is same. It lies somewhere around 7,18,500 for the entire BTEC program, which is of four years. Plus, there are certain fee waivers offered by all the NITs depending on different categories. Categories such as if you belong to ST, SC or PWD category, then for you the tuition fee is nil. For if you belong to general or OBC category whose family income is less than 1 lakh rupee, then you will get 100% remission on the tuition fee. Whereas if you belong to general or OBC category with family income between 1 to 5 lakh, then you will get two thirds of the remission on the tuition fee. In addition, the institute offers certain awards in the form of scholarships to its meritorious and economically weaker section students. The scholarships include, the first is Engineers India Limited, which is specifically targeted towards SC or ST category. The second is the Swami Dayanand Charitable Educational Foundation, which also provides a scholarship to meritorious students. Furthermore, Samsung offers the Samsung Star Scholarship to students who have demonstrated outstanding academic performance. Now let's have a look at the wonderful placements at NIT Silchar. During NIT Silchar Placement Drive 2022-23, the highest package offered was 44 lakh per annum and the average package stood at 13.58 LPA. There's a long list of recruiters that visit the NIT Silchar campus every year. You can also see the highest package offered by some of the big brands. Now let's find out the required rank that you need to secure in order to reserve a seat here at NIT Silchar in your preferred branch. NIT Silchar Cutoff 2023 As you all know that seats at all the NITs are reserved. 50% seats are reserved for the home state candidates. That means if you belong to Assam, that 50% of the seats are reserved for Assam residents. Whereas the remaining 50% seats are made available to the other state candidates. Candidates who belong to states other than Assam, that is all India candidates. So let's have a look at the NIT Silchar Cutoff 2023. Here is the branch wise cutoff for all the six branches after the sixth round of JOSA counseling. Let's start with civil engineering. 
To get civil engineering branch, you need to secure rank between 19,000 to 73,000 for home state candidates. Whereas candidates from other state need to secure rank between 34,000 to 46,000. For the computer science and engineering branch, you need to get a rank between 10,000 to 24,000. Whereas other state candidates would require a rank between 8600 to 12,000. Talking about electrical engineering, home state candidates need to get a rank between 30,000 to 50,000. And other state candidates should aim to get an approximate rank of 24,000. Home state students interested in electronics and communication engineering stream should try to secure a rank between 24,000 to 33,000 and other state candidates must target at securing a rank around 16,000. Coming on to electronics and instrumentation engineering, the rank cutoff started at 35,585 and closed at 45,435, whereas for other state students, it started at 19,159 and closed at 23,084. Now, it's mechanical engineering. For home state students, if you are interested in this branch, then you must aim to get rank between 45 to 59,000. And if you are an other state candidate, then your target rank should be less than 35,000. For more detailed information on NIT Silcher Cutoff 2023 for various categories, do visit the link given in the description. Now, let me give you a glimpse of NIT Silcher wonderful campus. NIT Silcher campus is spread across 625 acres of green land, offering students with various facilities such as central library, hostels for boys and girls, guest houses, workshops, bank, post office, cafeterias, and sports complexes. Enriched by a variety of events and activities from technical symposium to cultural festivals, the institute provides a platform for students to showcase their talents and engage in holistic development. The annual technical and management festivals such as Technoises, which is held every year in the month of October, comprises various events like competitions, exhibitions, coding rounds, hackathons, robotic events and talks from guest speakers from all over India. The other popular fest includes Incandescence, Glitterati, Thunder March and Pozua. So, to conclude, I would say, after all these years of hard work and struggle for J preparation and 12th boards, if you manage to get a seat here at NIT Silcher, you must accept it. Though located in a bit remote, might give you some chills while commuting. However, it is still preferred by most of the students for pursuing BTEC. Rest, I leave the decision on you. This was all from me today. If you like the video, do press the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.